Hello, Divine Feminine. Welcome to your full moon energy reading. This is going to be for the Divine Feminine Collective that I channel for just to see what the full moon in Libra lunar eclipse is bringing to the Divine Feminine. This will be a general collective energy reading, so I want you to sit back, relax, close your eyes if you feel guided to, and allow the messages to come forth as they're supposed to, as spirit intends. So first I just want to go over the current energy of this full moon lunar eclipse. So with the full moon being in the sign of Libra, Libra is an air sign, so we have balance and communication coming in. Libra is associated with the tarot card, the justice card, so this is about karmic cycles coming to an end. Anything that has been blocking you from manifesting is going to be illuminated to you. Things are going to be shown to you. Basically, the masks have to come off in order for this to come full circle. So the full moon in Libra is about a win-win outcome. So this is telling you because full moons are about climaxes and conclusions. You are either going to start a new relationship, Divine Feminine, or an important existing relationship or connection is changing. So for some Divine Feminines, you have a new person coming in. For others, you have a second chance coming with a person from the past. For someone you're currently with, things are going to change for the better. So you have to let go of what is falling away. What doesn't work for you anymore? What is essentially holding you back from being able to manifest this love regardless of who it's with? So the first thing you have to do is see the other person through the eyes of love because it will change your perspective. So you have to see this new person coming in through the eyes of love. Don't compare this new person to those from the past and from someone from your past coming in. Don't judge them. See them through the eyes of love. And it's going to help you make a firm decision on what you want when it comes to love. So you really want to just see your love life going through a makeover. So love is on the way for you, Divine Feminine. And if you throw in a lunar eclipse, you are going to see with the karmic cycles closing that conclusions are within reach, which means any doors that have slammed shut are not going to reopen. So make decisions very carefully. If you decide that someone or something is not for you, the door for that opportunity is not going to reopen. So you need to get back on track. If there is feelings coming up where you still are holding on to something from the past, could it be like anger, resentment, sadness? This full moon lunar eclipse is a good time for you to forgive because forgiveness is going to set you free. And the lunar eclipse is also telling you to seed control and to let the events unfold as they're supposed to. Because by letting things unfold the way they are supposed to, essentially brings you to finding a balance. So you're going to find a balance in the energy. You're going to find a balance in communication. You're going to find a balance within yourself, meaning you're going to find a balance between your own needs and what you do for others, meaning if you are a people pleaser, if you put other people before you, this is going to shift for you. So you have to understand that we're all co-creating with spirit. So you have to understand a win-win outcome is forecast because you're co-creating with spirit. So the affirmation you can say is there is love all around me. I am lovable. And there is a song coming through. It's Love Song by Tesla. It says, love is all around you. Love is knocking. 
right at your door. So the opportunity for love is knocking on your door. So this full moon lunar eclipse, Divine Feminine, is really showing you how you can manifest love. How you can bring in a new person or how you can reconnect with someone from your past. So this is really about what you want. So communicate with yourself, with spirit, on exactly what you want, what you're looking for. And I'm even hearing the song by you two, I still haven't found what I'm looking for, that's okay. It's okay not to know what you're looking for because sometimes you have to find what you don't want before you can find what you do want. So Divine Feminine, with this energy, I just want a free channel and just tap into the energy of how you're feeling. So you are very much an Empress energy. So I'm feeling very called to pull the Empress tarot card to give you a visual. So here is the Empress. So the Empress is about birthing something new, bringing something new to life. I'm even hearing the song, Bring Me to Life by Evanescence. Wake me up inside, bring me to life. So this full moon lunar eclipse is essentially bringing you back to life. Meaning if you have been in hermit mode, if you have been in a deep healing, if you have just pulled back your energy from everyone and everything, you are going to feel more inclined to be more social. We are now in the spring equinox. We have shifted from the winter. So with the spring comes blossoming, blooming. So Divine Feminine, you are essentially coming back to life, coming back to reality. You are understanding that you are ready to begin again. So you are feeling very good. A lot of Divine Feminines that I have spoken to. I had um, the Full Moon Lunar Eclipse Healing Energy Session that I hosted um, on Sunday the 24th. The group of Feminines that come to these are uh, very much in alignment with this energy. They were definitely picking up on this energy. So Divine Feminines, you are essentially adapting to this energy. You are finding that it's good to be in the energy of the Empress because the Empress is essentially you, the Divine Feminine. Empress is number three. That is about the trifecta of mind, body, and spirit. So bring in the nourishment of the water, of the feelings. Finding it very easy for you to transform. There are butterflies on this card. The butterflies are essentially telling you this full moon lunar eclipse is bringing you transformation. This scepter she's wearing has amethyst on it. Amethyst is telling you to trust your intuition. And she is pregnant on this card, so you are giving birth to a new life, a new idea. Your new beginning is coming. So, now I want to tap into what changes need to be made. So what changes does the Divine Feminine need to make with this full moon and Libra energy coming through. What energy does this full moon and Libra bring in? What changes? So the nine of wands shows me there's an ending of a cycle. There's some type of completion coming for you. But this completion is not bad. Wands is fire energy. So we're in Aries season right now. If you are a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or have it somewhere dominant in your chart, this could be a specific message or a confirmation for you that by connecting to the energy of fire, 
you are able to find what it is that you're looking for. Because being able to find what you're looking for is essential for your growth. Because letting what doesn't serve you, who doesn't serve you fall away is going to bring you into alignment with temperance. Temperance. So temperance is essentially telling you when you balance your shadow side by seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. When you can see that triggers don't have to be triggering, they can actually be something that is just being brought to your awareness. That is how you balance the shadow and the light side of yourself. And what that does for you, Divine Feminine, it puts you in the energy of the Two of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles is about balancing yourself in the 3D physical world. Pentacles is earth energy, connecting to the earth, connecting to yourself, your physical body. You could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but you don't have to be. This is just telling you, you are just going to find being physically present is going to be the change that you need. And all of these changes are going to bring you to your wish fulfillment. So one of the things that I channeled for this full moon lunar eclipse in the session I hosted yesterday, or on the 24th, whenever you're watching this, is it may be time to reset your intentions for 2024 because what you set for this year back in December, January, may not be in alignment with who you are now and what you want. So it's okay to say, hey, you know what? I set these intentions. I set these goals that this is what I want to manifest, but now I want to reset it. I want to reflect on it. I want to reevaluate it. And that's going to help you declutter the space and to declutter the energy and to get you into the Hierophant energy because the Hierophant is about staying true to your spiritual beliefs, staying true to your truth, and to change your perspective so you can see the lesson, so you can see everything that you're meant to see to help you make intuitive based decisions in the future. So now I want to pull you some guidance messages. So what guidance advice, perhaps action steps, you have for Divine Feminine with this full moon energy. So I have two cards that want to come out. The first one we have is trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So spirit wants you to trust. Trust your instincts. If something or someone doesn't feel right, or if you're having hesitation where you can't say yes, there's a reason for that. Trust your intuition, go with the flow, allow it to unfold, and you will automatically see if what you're feeling is yes or no. Because normally if it's not a yes, and you're saying maybe, you're really leaning towards no because you know if you tap into your intuition and you don't let your ego come through, you're going to see that the answer is actually no. And understanding that acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. So if you're having new people come into your life and you're thinking, is this person for me? And you're hesitant, you're not just feeling it. This is where, and this is something that I actually have experienced. So when you are trying to attract a partner, you have to remember that like attracts like. So the type of like that you attracted in the past before your spiritual awakening, before your healing journey began, is most likely the person who is still coming in. Meaning it's the same type of person, the same type of patterns, the same type of behaviors. You are not going to resonate with that anymore. So I will give you an example. Let's say that you avoided people in the past who were emotionally unavailable, who were hot and cold, talking to you one minute, the next minute not saying a word, going round and round and round, and nothing ever came of it because this person just kind of kept you in their closet as that shirt that they never wear 
but they just don't want to throw it away because they want to keep it there in case they need it. So once you go through your spiritual awakening and once you begin your healing journey and you start to see what caused you to have that pattern to call in a partner like that, you start to see what you don't want in a love partner. So you then shift from somebody who is emotionally unavailable you want to bring in somebody who's emotionally available. You want to bring in a secure divine masculine who has it together, who checks off all the boxes and what boxes they are. That's up to you. You want someone maybe successful who has a good job, who makes a good living, who is a protector, who is, um, who likes exercise, who likes to, um, who likes sports who, you know, whatever your interests are, whatever type of partner you're, re, you're trying to manifest, you have to get specific. You have to see yourself with someone who has the same similar interests as you. Because maybe the interests you had in the past are not going to bring you this new person. So another example is, let's just say you were always inclined to meet the partners in like a party setting like a bar or a restaurant and you don't go out anymore but when you do go to the bar you meet people but it's the same type of person you used to meet when you used to go to the bar all the time or the restaurant all the time if you are not resonating with going out going into the bar scene then your next partner is not going to be met at the bar scene where do you like to go now that you feel you could call in a new partner. That's something you need to discuss. And that's a conversation I had today with one of my friends. It's like, I used to go to the bars because I used to do karaoke or watch sports. I don't really go out that much anymore to the bar scene. I go once in a while, hang out with my friends, but I don't do it to meet guys. I just, I just find that men who hang out in bars just don't vibe with me anymore. So I have found that I have to find a new way to manifest a partner. So I have to find other places that I can put out to the universe to say, this is where I will be my most confident. This will be where I'm going to attract that new like that attracts like. Because when you do that, you see that you have balance. You balance it out because you're telling spirit, this is the type of person that I want. So love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that supports and challenges. So you want a, a you want a partner who balances you out. You want a divine masculine who balances out you, divine feminine. You don't want to bring in an unawakened masculine or a distorted masculine because that is not going to vibe with you. You're going to be repelled by it. You're going to be turned off by it. You're you're going to want to bring in a secure masculine who has it together who is your like attracting like. That is all about balance. So if you can do anything, what would it be? If you can do anything to manifest this person, whether it's a new person or someone from the past, whoever you are trying to manifest, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So this is where you have to listen to your heart. Your heart is going to tell you what you want, the type of partner that you want, the type of partner that is going to honor your heart, that is going to love your heart, that is going to protect your heart, that is going to make you feel like the divine feminine, where you won't have to shift into your masculine energy to give yourself the security and the protection you want to be able to be the divine feminine in the relationship if that's what you're looking for, especially if you've always been in your masculine energy, you're shifting into your feminine energy because that's what the world needs. The world needs the divine feminine to be the divine feminine. The world needs her to be nurturing. That's why they're saying you have to be the empress. You have to be the divine feminine and to transform out of the masculine side of you to allow yourself to be vulnerable, to allow yourself to feel, to allow yourself to grow. So now let's see what the future holds for you, divine feminine. What does the future hold 
for the Divine Feminine. What can you tell us? Spirit, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Thank you so much. So you have a King of Cups coming in. So the King of Cups could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Doesn't have to be. He could just be a masculine who is a master of his emotions. You could meet him in Cancer season, which is June through July. You could have already met him when we were in Pisces season. We just shifted from Pisces season to Aries season or Scorpio season, which is the end of October through November. Just take it as it, as it happens or just keep, just throw it up in the air and let spirit show you because you could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Divine Feminine. So you are going to have a divine masculine come in who has mastered his emotions, who is emotionally available to you. This divine masculine is currently going through a tower moment, very similar to you. Letting go, the masculine is really feeling at this full moon lunar eclipse. But everything is falling into place for the two of you to come together. And that is confirmed by the sun. The sun shows me that you can't have darkness without light and you can't have light without darkness. So the sun is telling you a new cycle is going to begin. And when it does begin, this divine masculine is going to come into your life as soon as the two of you are in full universal alignment. So just don't try to push the issue, allow it to happen. Allow the moon card to remind you to illuminate to yourself by letting your intuition guide you because in the future this masculine is going to make a decision that is going to have the two of you align so I'm hearing six months so this person could come into your life in six months or if you know them the two of you are going to be in a full-blown relationship in six months and that is confirmed by the ten of cups so I feel by cancer season a lot of you will have met this person or you will be in a relationship with this person. This person is going to message you. So for some of you, this is gonna be a uh, social media message, perhaps an email, this could be a text message, but there is a message coming from this person. And this message could come from a Leo. That's what the strength card is bringing through because the strength card is tied to the zodiac sign, the Leo. So Leo is telling you that this is a strong divine masculine who is the lion. He has been on a soul searching journey for a very long time and he is ready to take that leap of faith. So that's why he's having a tower moment right now because he is essentially getting himself ready. So there's a very beautiful energy of love coming in. Love is on the way. Just stay open to it. Learn to be open, to accept it, to receive it when it's supposed to. Just choose it, decide it's yours, and allow it to manifest. So I do hope that this energy reading for the full moon has brought you clarity and guidance and has helped you in some way. If it did, drop a comment below to let me know. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. Make sure you have the bell notification set so you can be notified when new content is posted on my channel. If you are interested in booking with me, go to the description box below. You can see my full list of services, the links on where you can book, and all the ways you can connect with me outside of YouTube. Have a magical full moon. Love and light to you.